what is up everyone this is karan here welcome back to tech karan youtube channel and yes you are seeing right paranoid android version quads 5 with dev is now available for it be noted user with a september security patch but it's the unofficial build this is not the official build and official build is also released by the way and the devices which are officially supported i'll put the link in the description for the paranoid android room which has the quads 5 update with version android 10 and the September security patch you can install right now on a device and you already know that paranoid 5 is the great paranoid room is already great with no customizations but very very cool kind of UI because of the performance and battery backup and a lot more things but is it really good and you have to try it out on your device or not in this video I'm gonna share with you my experiences and also it has little bit of features available which are those features let's find out Guys, if we talk about the Paranoid Android and I have reviewed the Paranoid Quads 4 also, you will see this abstract app there, which is actually the wallpaper app. We have a lot of wallpapers available, which you can install on a device if you want to. It has a collection of these wallpapers. We have the OnePlus wallpaper available. So if you're a OnePlus lover, you can try out these wallpapers and these wallpaper looks very, very interesting. If you are a OnePlus lover, you will definitely give it a try and as you can see the wallpapers looks very interesting and the installation is quite simple as you can see now we have applied the oneplus wallpaper looks very interesting also including that if you go to the styles and wallpapers and go to the on device wallpapers we have a lot of wallpapers options available that's very interesting very very interesting so you don't need any internet for that you can simply directly apply these wallpapers that's kind of an interesting thing but by default as you can see it does not have the pixel launcher it does not have the those pixel wallpapers are pre-installed so you have to install that on your own if you want to by going into styles option we have the four styles already pre-installed default one is always the green look we already know about the blue one is the purple one and the red one so the look which you like you can simply apply that one so it will automatically change those colors it will automatically change the status bar icons you already know that android 10 has a little bit of theming for status bar icons also you can simply create your own custom theme if you want to but it only has the three fonts available and this is a little bit of difficult thing for me because i sometimes like styles and wallpaper theming at least it should be there but it's also not there so yes you have to compromise with these kind of things also including that as i already told you it's perfectly fine here with no issues at all and this is the icon pack this is a little bit of customization the home screen talking about your quick settings i don't think so we have the customization here also just go here and go here yes we have customizations I was expecting it should not be there but yes it's finally here we can customize your columns rows and yes if you want to you can customize them at least something is very cool kind of things available there let's move on to the settings find out if something is really cool or not let me show you one more thing first if you talk about your modules if you talk about the magisk just go here and check out the safety net status the best part is the safety net status is passed cts profile is true that's very interesting thing for my device because as you can see my disk 20.4 the latest version in the safety net status is passed that's very very interesting and i personally like this kind of thing moving on to the settings this time and uh, this paranoid android room does not come with any customizations we already know about that let me tell you by going to network and internet option we have the show net activity in status bar which means we can enable the network which means the network upload and download speed on the status bar if we want to but i sometimes don't use this because i have a third party app called this internet speed meter light and that's why i don't use this feature but yes it's available so yes at least network speed indicator is available now you can install that you can use that feature if you want to battery stats are the normal stats it does not share with you the battery cycles and some little bit of advanced information which i think it should be there too because that's not a big customization kind of things but some details instructions should be there 
talking about the display dark theme screen timeout and same things like that we have the pearls options so where you can see you can customize your pearls for notification colors or the system is in color the notification color pearls looks better than the system is in color so i will suggest you to use the notification colors icon manager has a very cool kind of thing so you can hide those icons if you don't want on your status bar and also have the ambient display which you can always you can enable the always on option from here also but yes it's not recommended at all sound storage privacy location security kind of same thing unfortunately no face lock right now but yes you're seeing right we have the app locker available so if you are also the app locker lover just go for it and install it right now on your device other things are kind of really same nothing else everything is kind of same let me show you one two three things kind of things which are not working especially in redmi note 8 if i open the idm plus from here and now if i open my browser you can see it's not working it's not working at all it's giving me some errors it's giving me four stops idm keeps stopping and like this i got a lot of errors first time when i open the messages app it gave me error like this app is stopped this is kind of very very bad thing and if you talk about this it's not working also as you can see it's also not working so i personally don't like this room because some apps which i personally use are not working in this room a little bit kind of a disappointment for me so if you're also one of the guys who thinks this is not good if you're a redmi note 8 user i will not recommend you because some force closes are there might be in my case because if you tell me that i have not clean flashed my room i've clean flashed even two times but still same issues so i think it's not good for me but if you're good if it's good for you go and install it right now this was awesome today's video if you like it don't forget to like and share thanks for watching goodbye